Hello, Spinner94 here, bringing you another Battle Royale. Um, this one was quite interesting, as I say, some funny moments quite happening in this one. Um, I'm rocking some newish Pokemon, I'm rocking a Buzzwall, I've finally caught some Ultra Beasts, so I'm looking forward to giving these a go. Um, Lauren's rocking the usual teams, Jum's rocking the other Ultra Beast, the one I want, which you give us on stream, thank you very much, mate. And Matt is running Mudsdale, which is an awesome Pokemon, I definitely want to build one of these on a team, I'm not sure what tier it is. But let's jump into this Battle Royale and see how it all plays out. So we're going to jump straight into this battle here. I believe I do lead off with Buzzwall as I wanted to lead off with something sweepy, maybe just to pick up a few quick kills early on or something like that. So um, Jim is going to lead off with his Ultra Beast here, which I can't pronounce. It's you know, the cockroach looking thing, um, a leg, long leg Gardevoir. Um, I lead off with Buzzwall here, lead off, um, Matt leads off with Hairy Armor here, and Norman leads off with Demon. So a lot of fighting types here, so that Demon is looking pretty damn threatening here as, you know, we... Uh, all our stab moves can't really do a damn thing, do a bug can't and fighting can't. So, and Demon's obviously the, one of the bigger threats on the field here. As Hariyama goes straight to the fake out on the, this really fast thing, Fevermosair, I believe it's pronounced something like that. But Demon's going to go straight for the flamethrower here, and it's going to hit me straight away and do a ton of damage, bringing us down to one health. As I say, I am sweeping set, I don't think you can run these bulky at all, so Buzzwell manages to hold on here, as I'm going to go straight for the Hari, um, Hari Armor here and hit this thing with a hammer arm and do quite a nice little chunk here, that's a nice good chunk here, but unfortunately I'm going to get the speed drop, so I'm pretty much used at this point, you know, I look muscly as hell, but I'm not going to do my damn thing. So Buzzbug's going to connect here, of course that's going to kill, you know, 1 HP, not living that unless I'm like hardcore hacking the game. So Buzzwell goes down here, this, you know, mos Eggman mosquito thing come here down here so um beast boot's going to kick in and it's going to increase his special attack which does make this thing very scary because this is a mixed set and it's quite intimidating here so flamethrower is going to miss here and knock off is going to connect on demon here and take off its um charcoal here don't think lauren's got the competitive items yet i do have a spare life orb lauren if you're watching this i will give you a life orb if you wish so hey is going to come in here and i really really stupid play i thought it was going to be the fastest thing on the field but nope i forget this thing has ridiculous speed hits me with a high jump kick and i go straight down there i am not sash tangle hair is going to kick in lower this thing's speed here but I made quite the misplay there and that definitely cost me so hey yeah you go straight down this thing is it's plus two special attack now on speed this thing can basically destroy whatever it wants to at this point but um demon's gonna flame throw it it's gonna miss close combat is gonna miss and Doug no one likes Doug Trio <laughs> poor Doug Trio and it's awesome hair nobody wants to freaking hang around with Doug Trio everyone wants to beat the shit out of it so I'm gonna go straight for the protect here because I have a feeling you know this game could end quickly for me here as demon is gonna go for flamethrower here it's actually gonna connect on this bug type here taking out out of the game for good good job as well as plus two threat pretty damn scary so Harry Armour here is going to connect for close combat here. It's a good job I protected because I probably would have been one shot by this thing. So, in comes Fermana here, probably you pronounce it, the ballet thing, which looks awesome shiny. This thing looks really good and shiny. And we all know how bulky this thing can be, as Dragon Pulse is going to connect on Harry Armour. It doesn't do too much, actually, as it um, lives on just a slight margin of health. Like, that is just literally just the slightest live, as Moonblast is going to finish this thing off here. I, mean, I forget how bulky Harry Armour can be. I mean, yeah, I know Venusrock's not the most powerful move, but it does get stabbed, and I expected it to kill from that range, so... I do go for payback here. I am going to connect on this demon here, me being expected to be the target of my everything here and the demon just lives as well so everything is just living on these slightest margins of health so Mudsdale comes in here Mudsdale well, I'm not too sure how to deal with this thing so Venishock is going to connect on here go for that super effective damage does not do too much maybe Sludge Bomber Sludge Wave would be better on this thing as Psychic is going to connect and going to kill off Demon here as I say Jim is picking up these kills here left right and centre as I say he's looking pretty he's basically the powerhouse of this match so I'm going to go for the confused rate to try and stall this thing down here because someone needs to start targeting this guy down so um Fiji is gonna do its thing here I'm a little bit concerned what this is gonna do here um this is gonna actually do a Z move here and it is the um I believe it's a steel one which um Manny basically owns the steel move on stream I I have noticed um he's the only one who has ever used the steel move here so Corkscrew Crash is going to go in here, it is going to connect, I'm having a low on my voice because I don't know if people are awake in the flat. So Corkscrew Crash here is going to hit and that animation is absolutely brutal here. Um, that is going to cause some huge damage but yeah again, this bulky thing actually lives on just a smidgen of health. Everything is just living on the slightest margins of health here. So Ninetales comes in here, I'm not too sure what this thing's going to do because it is going to go probably for a fairy move. So I'm going to go for a protect here. And I'm going to obviously protect myself here, but Lauren is going to go for her Z move here, and it is the fairy one. And, you know, that actually, the animation looks better on the male trainers, it looks ridiculous, on the female trainer, it looks alright. Yeah, call me gender biased or whatever, but you know what, it's true. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Twinkle Tackle is going to do its thing here, and it's going to just, basically, it's like, it's like the most, um, 
gentle yet brutal headbutt in the world is the way I'd describe Trinkle Tackle. I mean, look at that, dun dun, bumpf, into oblivion, um, but look how little damage this does. That does nothing considering that's super effective, and I'm not even a defensive Umbreon. Um, must be a physical thing, not a special one, or it would have done a lot more. So Hydro Pump is actually going to miss this Mudsdale here, as Mudsdale is going to go for Rock Tomb here, and of course lower this Nine Tail speed, making it a lot less of a threat which I find quite interesting. So Lefties is going to do its thing here. I'm not quite sure what to do at this point here, but I'm just thinking maybe Confuse or maybe Payback on whatever I can get a hold of. So this thing is going to hopefully get Confused, but it doesn't punch itself in the face as Hydro Pump is going to miss Muddedale again. Just there's absolutely no luck here. As um, <laughs> Again, the luck is not going for good for Lauren either as both Umbreon and Rhythm make avoid that blizzard i know blizzard hasn't got the best um accuracy but my god look at all that and you know this thing takes that hit really well considering i'm going to go straight for a payback and despite all that umbreon actually manages to pick up a kill so going umbreon putting in your work doing your thing so i managed to pick up a little bit of a kill there as heavy slam a is going to go here it is going to connect on nine tails nine tails not living that much four times weakness to steel is nine tails greatest weakness and it is going down it's a shame nine tails autumn design very weak to steel so Moondant is going to get the, some lefties recovery as Queen is going to do its thing. So Queen comes in here and Lucario comes in as well. So this is not looking good for me. These two do carry fighting moves and fighting moves can do quite a chunk of damage to me. So not quite sure what to do here as um, this thing is going to go for a straight for an oversphere. And I am basically crapping myself at this point. So I do go for the protect here. I need to try and stall this out because I'm probably the biggest target with all these fighting moves knocking about. Um Orisfe is actually gonna connect on Muddale, which I find quite interesting. And Muddale actually lives that no it does not live that. What am I saying? I thought it lived that. I'm <laughs> definitely thinking of the wrong one. Muddale gets wrecked then <laughs> out of existence I was thinking it's wait a second, this is gonna live in adaptability no. So Bouncy Castle comes in here and here's the final turn of this match and the final very interesting turn. So OSV here is going to connect on Umbreon. Thankfully, Max Special Defense saves my life. That I didn't you know, even know that adaptability is a thing. High Jump Kick is going to connect on the Lucario, and it is going to one-shot, which is a shame, because Greninja deserved to win this match. It's twice he's been screwed over on these streams. Oh, sorry, buddy. As um, Confused Ray is going to miss, and Bouncy Castle is actually going to go for Metrodome here. And this is why I wanted to upload this one in particular. <laughs> Brave Burning Snorlax. My god, someone draw that. <laughs> that just looks so <laughs> awesome. Just boom. Queen takes a nice chunk of damage. It doesn't kill. Maybe a little bit more attacking investment would have been hilarious to see that thing get a kill. I'm going to go for the lefties recovery. And that's basically the match up there. Um, <laughs> I was quite happy to see that. So I'm going to round off this battle here. Thank you all for watching. Um, this has been Spinning94. Posting another battle royale. Hope to see you in the next one.